Hey y'all, a quick video demonstration of a garden watering control system that I'm building. Uh, what you see here is an HTML5 canvas um, that gets drawn on according to the state of the various valves. Right now I only have three set up, so there's a bunch of stuff in here that's kind of disabled. So like, check valve's not there, this check valve's not there, this is here. None of this side of the circuit set up. I still need to get a water sensor that'll work with this guy. And then here's a bunch of manual valves. And then here's my controlled valves. Um, this will also be a control valve, but it's not present. Um, but anyway, so I'm SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi here. That has a an RTC module on it and has a little relay control board that go to my valves and this is just sort of a really rough test setup so you know but anyway so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use a little um, control panel applet or a little uh, command line interface that I wrote to communicate with the daemon so I'm gonna turn zone 1 on and do an override um, zone 1 so it's actually overridden which will mean that if there's an automatic schedule or an event driven system um, that's what the red valve means, that um, that valve state won't change unless a human user does it or clears the override. But anyway, so, valve one's not connected, so it's not doing anything. That's this guy here. But, if I go back, let's say I'll turn, yeah, Doing this one handed sucks. So I'll turn on zone three, which should just spray water. So you can see that zone three is active. This actually go into a garden hose. Travels along the side of the house like so. And you can see our drip system running. Strips, strips everywhere. So, now, we will activate number two, and you can see that zone, or that uh, number three's LED's on. So now, we'll activate number two, which should just spray water everywhere. Cool. Now we'll turn two off. And uh, this display, by the way, is read only and it's based on Node.js. So we'll turn off three as well. Yeah, Node.js sends periodic updates to the browser when the state changes. And that's how the uh, little control system's updated. There's a bit more work that needs to go into getting everything ready. But, in general, this is kind of it. So the system also has a bleed valve. So let's turn off the water to it and bleed the pressure. Nice. But anyway, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the old setup so far. Our sprinkler system will have three zones and selectable water source. Um, one being a rain tank and the other being the house water. But uh, yeah, this will probably run on a scheduler and also have like, we're thinking about adding um, soil moisture sensors and um, a sensor that will actually monitor this tank's level um, here. It'll make decisions about whether or not to use the house water. Basically what we're relying on is, uh, if we turn on the house water, the pressure should be higher than the tank, because it's compressed water, which should blow back against that check valve. So that shouldn't, uh, shouldn't send water through the system because the pressure differential is higher, but as long as this valve's off, water's coming out of the tank, it should just flow into the rest of the system. Yeah, so, 
I still need to get that flow sensor figured out and set up and the uh, rain takes rain sensor but yeah we will also have you know some other sensors and stuff that make decisions about what to do and how but anyway so this is the project so far should be pretty cool when it's done but anyway yeah cheers <laughs>